Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Real quick, if you are new and you do enjoy my Battlefield 5 videos, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment with a suggestion of what you would like to see in the near future, and also do not forget to subscribe so you do not miss out on any more videos coming out real soon to my channel. So getting straight into this video, by the title you can see this is a class guide for the assault class in Battlefield 5. This was a suggestion that someone left on a video like a week ago and I just now got to reading that comment uh, so I apologize uh, and yeah this is gonna be like a mini series it's kind of just like a class setup and what I prefer to use in every class so there's probably gonna be four videos on this because there are four classes in total um, but yeah the first one it's going to be the assault class so hopping straight into the assault class I will show you what weapon I prefer the most what sidearm uh, and what gadgets I use on the uh, specific class that I'm running. So starting off first with the combat role, you have two options. You have light infantry and vehicle buster. I go ahead and use light infantry only because you get more ammo from enemies that you kill or teammates. If you run by a teammate that has died, you pick up more ammo from them if you were using any other combat role. And then you get more health than other combat roles once you use a med pack or you run to one of those medic stations. Uh, you're going to get more health back than any other uh, combat role, which there's only two, so yeah. Uh, then you have the vehicle buster. You get m you're get you able to spot enemy vehicles once you cause damage to them. So your uh, teammates are going to be able to see where exactly an enemy vehicle is if you hit them with one of your gadgets or one of your grenades. Uh, then you also gain more requisition. You gain bonus requisition when you destroy vehicles. I don't know what that means, but yeah. <laughs> so I just go ahead and use light infantry as my combat role. Um, Cause it just gives you more advantages. I see more advantages to that than spotting uh, vehicles and getting bonus points or whatever. Uh, just because there's, you have so many teammates that are probably gonna spot the vehicle anyways. Uh, so that's my reasoning behind that. Now moving into the primary weapon that I use on the assault class, has it has to be hands down the STG-44. To me, it's the best one and it's the most fun one to use. I just feel so much satisfaction uh, once I kill an enemy with this weapon. And it's a very good weapon. Uh, very decent rate of fire. A uh, good amount of uh, rounds in a clip. Uh, very high accuracy, so it's a good weapon for medium to long distances. Uh, damage is a little bit on the lower side, but this gun it is getting a damage boost. Every bullet is going to do 25.1 instead of 24.1 uh, damage per shot now with the upcoming update. So that's going to be really, really good. It's going to be even stronger than it is now. Um, so yeah, this is the gun I use. As you can see, it's a level 10 weapon. Uh, as the as is the M1907. Now there are some pretty good guns in this class, like the M1907 or the Sturm Gewehr 15, or even the Gewehr 43. But I just much prefer the SCG 44 uh, to any of those because it's way cooler, I guess. <laughs> That's my reasoning behind it. I just really like this gun, so this is the weapon I use uh, when I run the assault class. Now moving into the specializations for this gun. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with the complete right side of the tree only because it adds more accuracy and control uh, and less recoil to the weapon uh, when you aim down sight. So I go with quick aim which gives you a 33% uh, faster uh, aim down sight when you aim the weapon which is really really good. It's a very good advantage to have over your opponent uh, if, he's, if you're like at a medium distance and you spot him and he hasn't spotted you yet, you can aim down sight 33% faster, uh, which is really, really good to win those gunfights. Then I go with Ported Barrel, which adds or which reduces uh, horizontal recoil, which is really good. You don't want your gun kicking to the left and to the right when you're trying to you know, kill someone for medium to long distance. So it's a very, very uh, good specialization to go ahead and pick for your gun. Then I go with Barrel Bedding. Improved accuracy and aim fire when stationary. I would honestly much prefer lightened stock uh, or lightened stock only because you get to move 60% faster while aiming your weapon. 
but since uh, I go with the right side, you can you have to uh, by force go with enhanced grips, and that's something I really don't want. So I have to go with barrel bedding only because you can't have you know two right side and then a left side and then a you know another right side. That's just the way this works. Uh, I wish it wasn't like that because then I would have gone with light in stock. But I have to go with barrel bedding for that one. And then last but not least, I go with recoil buffer. It adds less upwards, um, so less vertical recoil, which, again, is also really good uh, for this gun. I mean, the gun doesn't really kick that much. Uh, with the rate of fire of 600 being a little bit on the lower side, I'd say this gun doesn't really kick that much. It's a very controllable weapon, uh, very fun-to-use weapon, uh, which is why I'd go with the right side of the tree instead of the left uh, now moving into, I want to go into the customization uh, of the gun just to show you what it looks like. I go with the mint camo instead of the gold plated just because I think the gold plated is a little bit too much. It does look nice. Uh, this does add no uh, bonus. You don't, you know, you don't get a stronger weapon for whatever camo you use. I just think it looks really nice with the mint camo. It looks a little bit like an AK-47. Um, so I decide to go with the mint camo for my STG. Now moving on into my sidearm. The sidearm I use on any class has to be the revolver and I'm not really going to go into too much detail over the sidearms honestly because they're all really bad. They're not really that good. They're not usable at all in my opinion. Uh, maybe in some situations they'll save you but most of the time they'll just let you down. Uh, they're all very weak, except the revolver. The revolver is the strongest one, which is why I go with the revolver. It actually has really good hip fire, uh, so firing without aiming would be really, really useful with this weapon. I haven't really tried it out, but that is a very high hip fire stat, so I might go ahead and do that. But, you know, the P38, the M1911, the P08, they're all just very, very unreliable. You know, you'll get a kill here and there, but if you're ever caught in a situation where your primary weapon is out of bullets... Or you're just missing way too much and you have to switch into your secondary. These guns are going to 100% let you down. I can guarantee you that unless you get like two headshots. Uh, which is why I go with the revolver. Because you can get like one headshot and then just kill the opponent. But you have to be pretty lucky or have really good accuracy. I apologize for that cut guys. I had to drink water. This is my third time recording this video. Um, so yeah. Hopping straight back into the sidearms. Yeah, I recommend you go with the revolver only because it does the most damage uh, and it can save you in some situations, but most of the time the sidearms are just going to let you down. So just go with the most powerful one. Uh, now moving into the gadgets, I'm going to skip over the melee weapons only because they all do exactly the same thing. None of these are stronger than the other from what I know, so I just go with the pickaxe because it looks the coolest and it has some really cool uh, killing animations. Which is why I go with the pickaxe. But you can go with, with whatever you want from this uh, selection of melee weapons here. Some of these are only unlocked from the war stories. Which I probably will never do. Because they're pretty boring from what I've heard. So yeah. Moving into the gadgets. Starting off with the grenades. You have three options here. And this is important. Um, out of all of them. I think that the frag grenade is the worst because it takes so long for it to blow up, which is good because that causes for less grenade spam in this game, but then really bad because it just takes so long for it to blow up and the enemy is just going to, you know, run away from it and you're not going to get a kill. You might get some damage here or there, but they're pretty much useless to me. You know, they could be really good for you, but to me, they're pretty bad. And then the anti-tank grenade... Um, I don't really need because of my two gadgets that I will go ahead and show you what they are. I don't really need this because again my gadgets do the job just fine against infant or against vehicles. So I go with the uh, incendiary grenade, which is the best grenade in my opinion, uh, because you instant once it hits the ground, it just instantly blows up, and whoever's near it, you know, if you're if there was any enemies near it, they're just instantly gonna catch on fire. Uh, and they'll probably die if they're really, really, like, in the fire. But if they're not too close to it, they'll take damage. And then you'll be able to finish them off with your primary um, or your secondary weapon. So I just go ahead and use the incendiary grenades as it's the most usable. Uh, now, moving into the, the gadgets, starting off with the first gadget, you have two options. They both do, I think they both do the same thing. The PIAT is a rocket launcher, effective against both infantry and armored vehicles. 
handle with care. And then the one I use, which is the Panzerfaust. The Panzerfaust is a disposable launch tube firing a shaped charge anti-tank warhead. Now that is the main reason I use this gun, or not this gun, this gadget, is because not only is it good against light infantry vehicles, but it's also really good against heavy armored tanks. Um, two shots to the back of a tank or two shots to like a very weak spot of a tank uh, and you can easily kill them. Uh, so I find this to be incredibly, incredibly usable and useful on the battlefield, which is why I go with the Panzer Faust. And then moving into the last gadget, I go with the Sticky Dynamite, but you do have two other options. You have the Frag Grenade Rifle, which is really good. I have used this quite a lot, and I did use it quite a lot in the Battlefield 5 beta. Um, uh, so yeah, this is a really really good option as well if you find a cluster of enemies You can go ahead and shoot it and then it will instantly blow up you get one or two kills So I would also recommend you go with this if you don't like using the dynamite, but then the AT mine being a very um, There's two ways of looking at this it could be very useful if you're lucky and what I mean by lucky is if you have this in a very like open road or like an open spot and an infantry enemy player sees it more than likely they're going to just shoot at it or throw a grenade and it's going to blow up and it's going to be you're basically going to be left with no gadget to use against tanks uh so that's why i don't use the at mine and i probably won't unless i'm on a map that really like is vehicle heavy then i might use the at mine but most of the time i'm not going to run it uh, which which is why I use the sticky dynamite if I'm ever out of Panzerfaust ammo I'll just run up to like an enemy a, a tank that isn't facing me I'll throw one or two at them uh, Depending on how much health they have and then I'll just blow it up and they're more than likely going to die So the dynamite is very usable for this class, which is why I run it um, And yeah, that basically wraps up this video. This is my assault class setup guide uh, hopefully you did enjoy there probably won't be any gameplay just because I'm so tired um, it's currently like it's very late and I'm pretty tired so I really don't want to go ahead and play but maybe for the next video I will if you guys do want to see gameplay uh, then I will definitely do it in the next video which should be on the medic class but if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful make sure to go ahead and leave a like comment and subscribe so you do not miss out from any more videos coming from my channel real soon so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video peace out